All right, so week nine, day one for cardio, day two for the week. Uh, I did not forget that this was the week we had the burpee penalties. However, I'm going to be extra, extra nice, and we're just going to skip that part. So we don't have to start out with your burpee penalty for last time. You're welcome. Uh, but we are still going to go through the entire workout, which is still a beast in of itself. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and warm up. Whenever you're ready, come to the back of your mat. We're going to start with inchworms. It's nice and easy to start out with just to open up the hamstrings, open up the chest and shoulders. So walk it all the way out to a plank. Try to keep the hands nice and flat on the floor as you walk up and down and then a full extension at the top. So really feel those hamstrings opening up. We have a lot of legs today. So we wanna get them nice and warm and primed. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale as you walk it out. Inhale as you're in the plank, whether that be standing or on the floor. And then exhale as you walk it back in and rise. Two more, just like that. Once you're done with your last one, stay up. And we're going to go right into some squats. Nice and easy. Just warming up the hips, warming up the quads. Try to keep your chest up high. Drop your tush, drop your tailbone. Thrusters are the first exercise. So we want to make sure the hips and the legs are nice and warm, ready to go for these thrusters. All right, go ahead and bring it up. Take it into some jumping jacks. Get the heart rate up a little bit. Get the blood flowing. Land soft. Knees are soft. You got it. All right, and bring it back in. Okay, so today is point-based, meaning every time you do your set correctly, you get your reps, you get one point. So we all are still trying to earn points, just like you did 10 weeks ago. So if you have your journal, what I'd like you to do is either meet the same amount of points or get a heavier weight. And then if you don't meet the same amount of reps or points, that's fine because you went heavier, right? All right, so the first one, we have a 15 minute time cap. We have three different moves we're gonna do. Your rep scheme is five, 10, 15. So five thrusters, 10 deadlift high pulls, 15 V-sits. All three are considered one set. So if you do all three of those things correctly, meaning you do them all with really good form, you get all your reps without breaking, then that's one point. So the goal is to see how many points can you get in 15 minutes. So it's AMRAP style as many times as you can go through it. Try to find a pace that's sustainable for 15 minutes. Five thrusters, 10 deadlift high pulls, 15 V-sits. All of those together is one point. Every single round you do of all of those together is one point. So keep track of your points and add them up as we go through the workout. So I'm going to get a timer set up for 15 minutes and then we can get started. So 15 minute time max, five thrusters, 10 deadlift high pulls, 15 V-sits. So get one weight, set of weights that you can use for your thrusters and your high dead pulls. If you break between your reps, like let's say you do three thrusters, you have to stop, you don't get a point for that round. Finish your round, that's great, but don't count the point. These have to be a seamless round and the form has to be chopped up. All right, when you're ready, 15 minutes, we're in it. How many rounds can you get? How many points can you get? So rack those weights for your thrusters. Squat down, punch up. Five reps here. Once you hit five, we're gonna take it down. Deadlift high pull. So deadlift, once the weights are dragging up the quadriceps, you're already pulling it up. 10 reps 
here. Stay with me. Ten of those, and then fifteen B sits. Full extension, your feet stay off the floor, piece it up. 15 reps. Exhale as you rise up. Don't let your feet touch the floor, that's going to break your set. 15 pieces, you're back up. We do it all again. You got them all, that's one point. Make sure you're keeping track of your points. So whenever you're ready, you start back from the top. Earn another point, you got this. Five thrusters. Ten deadlift high pulls. Keep that weight super close to the body. Make sure you're breathing. And then 15 V-sits. You get all three of those without breaking, without compromising form. That's one point. Get as many points as you can. 15 minutes. Breathe on your V-sits. Don't hold your breath. Hydrate along the way. We're only three minutes in. You got this. Keep your back nice and flat on the deadlift.
Slow down. Slow down. Nice job. Keep cycling through. Officially under 10 minutes to go. Whew. Grab them heavy weights. Really get breathy here. Even though we're using weights, building strength, we're doing so under speed. Getting that heart rate up. Don't let those feet 
you touch the floor, don't break your step. Get that point, get that point. Four minutes.
Four minutes. A piece. Four times through. So it's 20 minutes total. I will warn you now, this is a beast. If you don't remember from 10 weeks ago, it is a beast. Okay, so we have 12 reps for each thing. Squat jumps, push-ups, sit-ups, jump lunges. However, at the top of every minute, we do four burpees. So it looks like this. Minute one, four burpees, 10 jump squats. Minute two, four burpees, 12 push-ups. Minute three, four burpees, 12 sit-ups, four burpees, jump lunge. So forth, so forth. Oh. All right, you have one more minute in your rest before we go.
squats, four burpees, 12 jump squats, 10 seconds in. So if you finish, before I say 20 seconds, which is right now, write that down, try to get that the next time.
you round it down number, that's an extra point. 40. 45. Push ups up next. 50. Get ready. Again, trying to get that rounded down number. That's your goal. to a wall or something you can hold on to. Release, switch sides. Release, big shoulder stretch. Take it across. Make sure the shoulders are nice and square. Switch arms. Good. 
Open up the chest, stretch your chest out after all those push-ups. Interlace the hands, take them up, reach the sides, you push your hips the other way, stretch out the abdominals, the side body. Between your V-sits and your sit-ups, you've worked extra hard. Switch sides. Come back up and release. Ah, oh, you crushed today. So tomorrow, make sure you count your points from today. You're gonna need them for tomorrow's level up workout. So just make a note of them and then bring your journal with you to class tomorrow. And until then, have a great day.